Hello guys, welcome back to the Socialism Challenge. So I haven't played yet, um, this is my first go at this. Um, so I, I edited um, their outfits off camera, um, just fixed so they didn't look, because some of their outfits were kind of crazy. But anyway, I turned whims off so we don't see those because we're not working towards our aspiration goals. So I'm just going to start here. And I think we decided Aubrey was going to be our cook. So we'll just start her getting some cooking experience here. Let's make a garden salad for everybody. Who is that? Where are you going? Who just went across the street? What are you doing? Like digging through the trash. Why? Rummage for food. No, go home. Go home. Someone's making you food. Chloe found some food. Oh, that's right, because she's a slob. Okay. So, Chloe's making some food for everybody. Everybody else is just kind of sitting here watching TV. You should go watch too. Okay, I just realized I don't have enough seats for everybody. I only have seven seats, so I'm going to have to fix that. She's eating her ugly food, gross food. <coughs> yeah, everyone talk. Good, make some friends. There we go. Okay, how are you doing? Your salad's done. Call to meal. Everybody can eat. Hey, everybody go eat. Except for Chloe, who's eating her, her garbage food. Her rummage to oatmeal. So weird. Okay, I know you're a slob, but you're going to clean up after yourself. At least right now. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Since you're done eating, you have no skills. Okay. So, slob, glutton, domestic. Self-absorbed. What job are we going to do for her? I have no idea. I was going to have her pick her job first because she's already done eating. Okay, well, let's see. Aubrey's gonna be our chef. Let's chat with Chloe. Okay, so Chloe's gonna be our chef, so we're gonna have her find a job first, since we already know what she wants to do. Oh, Jocelyn's done eating. Let's find a job for you. Can't remember. Jocelyn. Music lover, goofball genie. She was going to be our entertainer, so I'm going to do that. She'll be our entertainer. All right, Jocelyn, you're going to be our entertainer. Musician and comedian. She could do either one. Um, I don't know. Well... We'll probably do musician. I don't know, we'll see. So she starts work one. Oops. She starts work tomorrow. All right, Aubrey, you're gonna be our cook. So you're gonna be culinary career. All right, for her, she needs to prefer, prefer food, which she already did. Let's see, we'll have you put away the rest of the salad. And then we'll have you cook some more food, just to get some more skill. And that way we have more food in the fridge for everybody. Uh, let's see, who else needs a job? Max needs a job. Um, what are his traits? <clears throat> Materialistic. Okay, I was going to have him be the criminal. 
So let's do find a job. No, we need jobs, guys, because we don't have any money. All right, Maximiliano. <laughs> All right, you are going to be our criminal. Yep. That sounds like a good job for you. You need to just start some mischief interactions. Okay, let's be mischievous. Mischief. Uh, trick with hand buzzer. Sure, why not? Let's not do her though, because she's cooking. Um, oh, you're cleaning up. That's right, because he's neat. Okay. Let's see. Be mischievous to Tucker. Um, give fake bad news. And let's see what else. Lie about career. Oh, he's sad. Oh no. All right, mischief. Uh, scare. Let's do that. Sure. All right, put that away. <clears throat> All right. Um, mischievous is actually going well. Let's keep doing that. Um. Start preposterous rumor. Why not? Mischief. Um, I'll trick him with a hand buzzer too. Okay, Aubrey, you were supposed to put that away. Put it away. And then you're going to cook some more. Uh, let's see. We'll do some mac and cheese. That's always good. Party size. All right, Jocelyn. I gave you a job already, right? Write jokes, practice, music. Um, okay, we need to get something for music. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, we have no money. Um, what can we do for music? See, that's 250, that's four. Oh, crap. Um, I guess we'll have to do that. It's so expensive. Um, That way she can practice her music. So Jocelyn, practice. Okay, do you have a job yet? No. What are her, oh that's right, erratic, materialistic, and genius. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what to do with that. Okay, but we are going to find a career for Ellie. And we also need to find, I know what Ken was going to do. Find a job for Ken. All right, Ellie, let's see. I don't know what to do with you. Um, style influencers. That's not one of the main ones. Okay, writer. Maybe she could be our writer. That sounds good. Why not? Okay. And then Ken, you're going to be our astronaut, right? Yes, because athlete's not one of the main, it's not one of the main careers. Tech guru and writer. So we have painter and secret agent left. So maybe, oh, I don't know. Okay. So Ken is going to be our astronaut, and then who doesn't have a career? Josh. Josh is going to be our tech guru. That's right. Okay. So tech guru for Josh. I don't think you guys can hear the music, and that's really good because her violin sounds horrible. <clears throat> Come on, work on your phone faster. Okay. So he's going to be our tech guru. And then he has to play chess. I don't have enough money for a chess table. Um, you still need to make some more food. All right, put, I want to click. All right, put that away. And you're going to cook again. Um, she's tense from that. Okay. Uh, vegetable dumplings. Sure, why not? All right, and then Tucker's. 
still needs a career. We have painter and secret agent left. Um, he's cheerful and music lover. I guess he'll be a painter. I really don't know. I mean, that's kind of all we got left. Um, who else still needs a job? Who else still needs a job? Chloe needs a job. All right, Tucker, you are going to be... Oh, God. <laughs> so with what we have left, we have Painter and Secret Agent. Chloe is the slob. <laughs> She's going to be a Secret Agent. Okay. <laughs> I guess so. That's what's left. Um, so Tucker is going to be a painter. I don't have enough time. Or enough money for um, an easel, so I guess he's just not going to be able to work on his his stuff for his career. Um, all right, Chloe. You, that's all that's left is secret agent, so that's what you're going to have to do. She can be a villain, I guess. Why not? Be like a double agent? Sure, why not? So she needs to browse intelligence. She can't do that because I don't have the computer. Ellie, you need to read books. Um, hey, you're reading right now. Good for you. Okay. And then he still need, you still need to do some more. Um, where are you? You're on the couch. Okay. You still need to do some more mischief. Let's do some more mischief. I know you guys are all tense because her violin sucks. I'm sorry. Um, so you're going to lie about career. Where did he go? Oh, you're talking to Chloe anyway. Okay. Um, so you're going to lie about career. Start preposterous rumor. And invite to fake party. That should get our mischief interactions done. <clears throat> You're embarrassed from badly played music. Hey, you gotta start somewhere. You'll get better. All right. So Aubrey, put that away. You're done with your food. Good job, girl. All right, um, let's see. Let's see how everyone is doing on their needs. Everybody should be pretty good. You need to go to the bathroom, so go to the bathroom. Uh, Chloe, everybody's kind of the same. All their bladders are kind of getting low. All right, let's see. Chloe, what do you have to do? You have to browse intelligence, that's right. Ellie, stop, I thought you were reading. Read. Read something. Um, sorry, you can't browse. Play video games. You can't do that either without a computer. Create paintings. I can't do that. I can't buy an easel. Okay, you can stop playing that now. You're done. <laughs> stop making everyone so tense. <laughs> um, and then what do you need to do? You need to. I don't have money for a chess table either. Okay, well. That's pretty much all I can do right now. We'll just let them sit and talk. I see not everyone's doing good. Oh, now Tucker's playing the violin. Oh my gosh, guys. <coughs> You're making everyone's ends again. Oh, oh, this is horrible. <clears throat> All right, you can talk to her. Complain about your problems. Why not? Um, let's see what else can we do. I want to be friendly because I like Jocelyn. Oh God, look at how she's eating that food. Can I zoom in on her? My camera skills suck. Sorry, guys. Look at her eat this food. Because <laughs> she's a slob. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, and you're just like, mm, yeah, she's eating that food real weird. <laughs> yeah, you complained about your problems, too. How about that? Who's about new show? Let's get to know and share some brilliant ideas. Where'd that go? 
friendly. Where'd it go? Complain about love life. Um, share brilliant ideas. There you go. Oh, yeah. You guys, be friends. Yeah, you're a genius, too. I got lots of geniuses. Mock music taste. No, don't do that. We want to be nice. Do you guys not like it? Oh, you guys are both angry. <laughs> Vents. Complain about your problems. Why can't, how can he boast about his family? You don't have family. Okay. And then you guys can get to know each other too. How's that? Get to know. Jocelyn is a genius. There is a little TV right there. Oh, you guys didn't like that, huh? Sorry. Ooh, you're focused. What are you focused on? Focused. Oh, because you're a genius. All right, so yeah, I'm going to play just for a couple more sim hours for the first day. Um, let's see. You're still doing good. You can clean up your plate. No, I'm not. Go clean it up. I'll put your plate on the floor. Oh, look at that. Your new friend's cleaning it for you. Thanks, dude. Okay, can you just fish for compliments? Sure, why not? Anything that'll make him stop playing. Stop making everybody so tense. Ooh, you're feeling flirty. Oh, playful. Yeah, you guys can keep talking. Tell dramatic story. Whoops. Get to know. Where did that go? Here it is. All right, Tucker, you're not playing anymore. Good. Oh, you really need to go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. All right. So let's see. I think everybody, does everybody start on Monday? Everybody's going to work tomorrow. Okay, he doesn't go to work tomorrow. Right, everybody goes to work tomorrow except for Joshua. Okay. Well, maybe when everybody gets home, we'll have enough money for our computer, and then he can work on his playing video games. It's getting to be about dinner time, so why don't we cook one more meal? Um, what would um, BLT? Sure, party size for everybody. Aubrey's just yeah. Ken, what is Ken doing? What are you doing, Max? Oh, well, you're going to the bathroom finally. Let's see. Everybody's doing decently well. Jocelyn, you need to go. To okay, you're going to the bathroom. Let's see. What are they even watching? I don't know. Let's let's watch comedy. Put everybody in a happy mood. Everybody, put everybody in a funny mood. Level three of the cooking skill already. Way to go, Aubrey. <clears throat> oh, are you done? Okay, wait, no, stop. Let's and call to meal, everybody, and call to meal. Let's everybody eat. Let's everybody eat dinner. And then I think everybody will be going to sleep. Like no one eats at the table, everyone just goes back into the living room. Whatever. Jocelyn's eating out there by herself. Oh, sand. No, you're not eating. What are you doing? Whoa, glitch. That was fun. 
Did everybody see that? She walked over by the couch and then she glitched, glitched back over to the counter to grab her food and then sat down. Like, weird. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ken. I did not make enough seats. Um, I will fix that once everyone goes to bed. <laughs> oh. Okay, Arby's doing fine. Is there food still left? No. I can clean up after that. Alright, everybody. I'm actually doing decently fine on keeping everybody happy. Um, I'm sure that'll change once everyone starts working. <clears throat> but yeah. So far, so good. Okay, I told you to clean up and then you put your plate on the floor. Come on. Alright, let's speed this time up a little bit. I do have a couple of neat people in the house, so when the messy people are th putting their stuff on the floor, the neat people are picking it up, so that's kind of nice. Alright. Stale surroundings. Sorry, you guys are poor. Let's see, Tucker went to bed already. Why did you go to bed already? He has to work in the morning, but... What are you doing, Jocelyn? You just standing there watching the TV? Okay. Well, let's give a couple of you guys showers. So everyone's not trying to shower in the morning. Oh, go away. I hate vampires. Go away. Yeah, leave. You're a vampire. I don't want you by my house. Go away. Yeah. Didn't hang out with you, but okay. So yeah, everybody's... <clears throat> most people are starting to go to sleep. Um, Max, I'm sorry. You can't buy anything. Oh, you're going to go talk to him, huh? Yeah, you got to make a friend. So when do you work? You don't work until 5 p.m., so you can stay up for a little while. Jocelyn... No, why are you sleeping there? Go sleep in a bed. Go. Yeah, there you go. Why does it say there's monsters under the bed for these guys? It's weird. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to bed too. Why are you going to bed? All right, why don't you go take a shower? Aubrey, you work when? And you work in the morning too. You just took a shower. Why don't you go to bed now? So this first day is almost done. Max is just taking a shower and then he's going to be going to bed. I didn't assign the beds. I, they just can sleep wherever they want. Um, I just want to have them not <clears throat> take naps. Alright, so everybody is out of the living room. That's what I wanted. So I'm going to fix this couch situation. I don't know why I counted that as four-seater, um, but I did. <sighs> so let's see. So we've got, we've got four seats right now. I don't know, do they have a couch that seats for? No, and I don't have enough money. Okay, um, Well, crap. Okay. Well, let's do, let's sell these. They don't even match the room. So what do we have? This is a two. I think they're all twos. Uh, so maybe we'll do 450. Oh, I don't have enough for two of those. Okay. We'll just get the cheapest one for now. Um, so we'll do... We'll do two six seaters, maybe. Oops. So we'll do two six seaters. Crap, I don't have enough. Are you kidding me? Ugh, 
I'm $11 short. Are you serious right now? Um, I just want them all to have seats. Uh, what can I sell? I guess I can sell... I'll sell two chairs. They're not even sitting at the table anyway. So I'll sell those so we can get... Of course, there's no like matching color. Um, that looks close enough. Oh my god, no, it's not close enough. Whatever, I don't care. But now, they can all sit at the TV together. And we have $69. <laughs> oh boy, guys, get to work. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. So Max is going to sleep. And I think that's probably going to be the end of this first episode because the day is almost done and everyone is sleeping. So, end of day one socialism challenge. I think I did pretty well. Um, keeping everybody happy. Everybody's got jobs. We will see what happens next time. Um, <laughs> if you guys like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.